The city of Jacksonville says it's going back to court in a battle over newly drawn city council districts that a federal judge has said are unconstitutional. The Jacksonville City Council spent about an hour and a half behind closed doors today figuring out their next steps after the judge's decision this week. And now they're saying an appeal is part of their plan moving forward with city elections about five months away. News from Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live from City Hall. Marilyn? And I want to go ahead and read this statement that we got from the city council president right after five o'clock. It says the council disagrees with the outcome of the court order. Therefore, we have directed the office of the general council to appeal the decision. While we await the appeal, the council will begin a new redistricting process immediately given the court order and the short window established by the district court. The fight after the fight. Wednesday, a federal judge's order threw out the city's district lines. This is a shake meeting. It's been open. Then on Friday, city leaders met to discuss the next steps. And sources tell us they're going to fight back with an appeal. It started when groups like the NAACP and the ACLU filed a suit alleging racial gerrymandering in the newly drawn districts. A staff attorney with the ACLU on this case says the result of what the city has done is diminishing the influence of black voters in the city. What's the message the city is sending if they file an appeal? Um, well, the city hasn't said uh, that it's going to appeal or not. Uh, I understand it's, it's considering its decisions, but uh, I mean, it's in the best interests of, of all residents of Jacksonville that this be resolved quickly. We have a, a well-reasoned, thorough order that has said that the council districts are unconstitutional. The judge gave the city until November 8th to make a new map. The supervisor of elections says they would need to know by December 1st before qualifying elections in January. If they're backing up things a lot. I, I really feel for the candidates uh, because they're, they don't know if they're going to be in the district that they were hoping to seek uh, uh, the office for. It's going to be... It's, it's, it's a little bit of a calamity, but I, we're going to get it done. After the shade meeting, I asked the city council president about this. He said all those impacted will be able to see his statement. Warren with the ACLU says he hopes people understand the weight of what's happening. This is about uh, building a city uh, that has a government that's responsive to, to, to everyone um, and that doesn't slice and dice neighborhoods uh, and have districts for, for council and school board that snake across the city in ways that don't make any sense at all. And we also got a statement from the Northside Coalition of Jacksonville. They were plaintiffs in the original filed lawsuit. It reads in part, city officials have no business wasting thousands of taxpayer dollars to go back to court to fight their own constituents. They should just start all over again and come up with a fair plan. Now, we're told during that shade meeting today, they didn't have to vote on an issue. And just as a reminder, the minutes and transcripts from the shade meeting will become public record once the court proceedings end, which could be a while. We're live at City Hall tonight. Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Marilyn. If you'd like to see how the districts that the City Council approved compared to existing districts, you can check out this interactive map. We've got it on news4jax.com for you. The link is inside today's story. You do need to be a News for Jax insider to see the interactive map. If you're not already a News for Jax insider, it's free to sign up. You just need an email address.